Hey lovely people, welcome back once again to another exciting episode of Stitches This Collection. I'm Miss Stitches. In this video, let me share with you how to make this beautiful and easy Balenciaga handmade beaded bag. Before we start, do well to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button. Let's get started. Materials needed. So you cut your fish line, you make sure it's long enough. You cut it off and we are using 0.70 mm you make sure you have the ends of the fish line you pick four beads fix on any side of the fish line fix all four beads fix on the right side of the fish line fix on the left side of the fish line you fix all four beads and then you cross with the fourth bead Using the other side of the fish line, you make sure you have the ends of the fish line so one side will be longer than the other. You pull it out and then you have your first ring done. You go on and pick three beads, fix one on each fish line, fix one on the left fish line, fix one on the right fish line. And then you cross with the third bead using both fish lines. You still make sure you have the ends of the fish line and then you pull it out. And then you have your second ring done you go on and pick three beads again fix one on each fish line and then you cross with the third bead using both fish lines you make sure you have the ends you pull it out and then you have your third ring done so we are going to continue with it with the same method so you get nine rings in all so with the same method you move till you get nine rings So we have eight now and then with the knife part on this fish line you fix three beads and then you cross with the third bead using the other side of the fish line you pull it out so you can turn for you to weave to the other end so on this fish line you still fix three beads and then you cross with the third bead using the other side of the fish line so you can turn completely for you to weave to the other end so with the right fish line you go through the next bead then you fix two beads on the left fish line you cross with the second bead using the right fish line you pull it out and then with the right fish line go through the next bead Fix two beads again on the left fish line, cross with the second bead using the right fish line. You pull it out, then you continue weaving with the same method. So, when you get to the last but one bead with the right fish line, you go through the next bead. Then, on this fish line, you fix two beads and then you cross with the second bead. Using the right fish line, you pull it out. Then on this fish line, you fix three beads. Cross with the third bead using the right fish line, you pull it out. Then with the right fish line, you go through the next bead. Fix two beads again on the left fish line, cross with the second bead. Using the right fish line, you pull it out and then you move on with the same method to the last end. And this is what you should have after you are done. So as you can see, we have the mat forming up. I'm going to weave until you have 19 steps in all. So we have the mat nicely made. And this is exactly what you should get. So I'm going to fold the side. So one, two, you fold it up. Then you turn to the other side. One, two, you fold that side to up. And that's the size of the bag. So we are going to weave the base of the bag now. So with the new fish line, you go through these two beads here. One, two. So you go through this first one. And then the second one here, you pull it out then on this fish line you fix two beads 
is that you cross to the second bead using the right fish line make sure you have the ends of the fish line so one side will be longer than the other you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next bead then you fix two beads again on the left fish line cross with the second bead using the right fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next bead then you fix two beads again on the left fish line cross with the second bead using the right fish line and then you weave on with the same method When you get to the last end with the right fish line you go through these two beads here then you pick one bead and cross it both sides of the fish line pull it out then with this fish line you go through this bead then on this fish line you fix two beads again and then you cross to the second bead using the right fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next bead fix two beads again on the left fish line cross the second bead using the right fish line you pull it out then you go through the next bead i'm going to continue weaving with the same method to this end here so i'm going to complete the base and i'm going to do that off camera so we have it done and that's what you should get after you are done or even on the right track and this is one side of the bag and i made the other side offline the same size the same length the same breadth i'm going to join them together to make the full bag so with the new fish line you go through the first bead here pull it out then you make sure you have the ends of the fish line then on this fish line you fix one bead and then with that same fish line where you fixed the bead you go through the first bead on the other side of the bag as you can see i'm doing so you have the bead you fixed in the middle of both sides then you pick one bead again and cross it both sides of the fish line make sure you have the ends of the fish line so one side will be longer than the other you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next bead with the left fish line, you go through the next bead as well. Then you pick one bead again and cross it both sides of the fish line. You pull it out. Then with the right fish line, you go through the next bead. With the left fish line, you go through the next bead. Then you fix one bead again and cross it both sides of the fish line. You pull it out. Then you go through the next bead with each fish line and then you weave on. With the same method so as you can see we have the side nicely forming up and this is exactly what you get if on the right track i'm going to continue weaving with the same method so it gets to the last end here and i'm going to do that off camera And this is exactly what you should get after you are done joining the sides together and we have the full bag now and i already passed my fish line through very well to secure the bag so i'm going to pinch the sides so with the new fish line so we have five sides here we are going to skip this side and then you go through this bead here so you skip the other side and go through this bead so the bead i'm going through that's where you go through with the fish line and then you fold the sides from the middle so we have five sides so you make sure you have one in the middle then you fold from where we fixed the fish line so you have it this way so on this fish line you fix one bead then with that same fish line you go through this bead here so you also skip the straight side and then you go to the next bead as you can see I'm doing 
so you have the video fixed in the middle so as you can see we have it a little curvy because of the beads we skipped on both sides so you fix one bead and then you cross it both sides of the fish line you pull it out please make sure it's very tight then you have it this way so you pass your SS fish line shoe and I'm going to do that off camera to secure this part and that's what you should get after you are done so as you can see we have it curved and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and I'm doing that off camera as well and this is what you should get after you are done with both sides of the um, bag so you should have it this way and now we are going to pinch the base of the bag as well so we also have five sides here and with that we are going to fold it exactly from the middle part so leaving one in the middle folding the two sides like this and then with the base in all we have 15 sides so i'm going to divide it into three making it five five for each side as you can see i'm doing so we are going to weave from the middle path so with a new fish line you count one two three four five and then you go through the sixth bead so the sixth bead that's where you put your fish line as you can see i'm doing then on this fish line you fix one bead and then with that same fish line where you fixed the bead you go through the direct opposite one on the other side which is the sixth bead as well on the other side you pull it out so you have the bead you fixed in the middle then you pick one bead again and cross it both sides of the fish line make sure you have the ends of the fish line and then you pull it out please pull it out very tight because it's going to be a little difficult um pinching the sides or bringing the sides together then with the right stitch line you go through the next bead and the left stitch line you go through the next bead and then you pick one bead again and cross it both sides of the fish line you pull it out then with the right stitch line you go through the next bead with the left stitch line you go through the next bead so we are going to repeat the same method for the three parts left so with the same method you do for the three parts and i'm going to do that off camera so this is what you should get after you are done as you can see i covered up for the three parts left out so we have all the five set so after you are done you should have the base curved up like this as you can see we have the curve nicely out so i'm going to weave the a cover for the bag and i'm going to do that off camera because i'm using the same method as we started with and this is what you should get after you are done i have the cover nicely made i just i just did the designs at the end to make it nice and then you fold it up this way to fit the bag and then it's nicely covered up so i'm going to um, attach a handle for the bag to make the bag complete so i made this handle offline as well and i have a video of how to do it it's the same method i used but this time i didn't cover all the four parts i left one side off and after i pass my fish lines through to this bead here and we're going to attach it to the top side of the bag like this so we have one two we're going to attach it on the second path as you can see one two then on this side that's where i'm going to attach the handle so my fish line is long enough and i'm going to use the same thing for that so you pick one bead and fix on both sides of the fish line you fix one bead each on the sides then now i'm going to fix it to the bag so this one is very simple we are just going to pass the fish line through to this bit so the right fish line will come out from the left side then the left fish line will come out from the right side as you can see i'm doing 
then you pull it out very tight as you can see so you have it this way and then you pass your SS fish lines through the handle to make it very firm because the handle carries the weight of the bag and I'm doing that off camera so this is what you should get after you are done as you can see I took my time to pass the fish lines through everything and I'm going to attach the other side as well and I'm going to do that off camera with the same method so this is what you should get after you are done and as you can see I have my handle firm and standing like it's so strong I took my time to do that so you can attach a magnetic lock flip or button to your bag to make your things secured in the bag so here we go we have a magnetic lock nicely attached to the bag yes i made it offline because i have a video of how to attach it and i'll drop that below so you can watch and know how to attach the magnetic lock to your bag and you close the tap and we are done with our handmade beaded bag so this is all for this balenciaga beaded bag this bag is just amazing and i love the method in doing this bag you can make this in any color of your choice just to suit your outfit please give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more and more of my tutorials make sure to comment and share as well stay safe see you in my next video have a nice day and bye